we ask for change. No, we demand change. They need to either look into how wellness checks are performed, see if the budget could be placed elsewhere to a profession that will handle these calls better and allocate these resources so that this doesn't happen again. Isn't the police supposed to protect us, not to turn around and assault us? <laughs> and Mona was already in pain, vulnerable and harmless. Lacey, Browning, how could you hurt her furthermore? If that were your daughter, sister, even your neighbor, if that were a white girl, would you do the same thing to her? Where is your empathy as a human being and your responsibility as a police officer? It was really scary. Uh, opening the elevator door and then just seeing the trail of hill debris and blood leading up to my suite, like that was one of the most scariest moments in my life. And so um, when I opened the suite, it looked like a crime scene. Like furniture was shuffled. There was pills and like, yeah, it was, it was just like, it was not a good scene. I want systemic racism to be dismantled. I want, uh, I want like all Canadians to actually take a good long look in the mirror and we need to go to the root of systemic racism. We have to go to the root of police brutality and it brings us all back to the very beginning of police in Canada. And a lot of people say that like I may be living in the past, but it seems to me that everybody else is living in the past right now. I want to live in the future. I don't want this to happen anymore. I feel like a lot of police officers are so desensitized and disconnected from humanity and uh, that really reminded me of like this situation that's going on with Mona because Lacey Browning was very disconnected from humanity and very desensitized in the situation.